Okay, it looks like everything is going well with the stream. Move over to my desk. Okay, so we're gonna work on uh, the hair a lot today. Uh, it's not gonna be much different than yesterday, about an hour stream or sooner if I'm hitting a wall, but I gotta get this done by the end of the month. And uh, that's it. Just putting on my gloves now and we'll get going. I still have my 5M1 shader needle in, so I'm gonna keep using that. I think I'm gonna follow the same sort of a Amer uh, classic American old school tattoo shading technique, which is um, full on black to uh, light shading, line to line, where this is realistic shading. Uh, I just hadn't decided fully if I was going to go on full black or if I was going to use a shaded black to make it slightly lighter. Okay, something a little different, I'm not sure yet. I'd definitely go in faster if I did it all black, you know, full black shading. Mm. Okay, still using the same Kirasumi Black. It's the same bottle I've been using for a long time. Again, this is where I put my banner. This is not a sterile environment, and in no way is it meant to be an example of what you would do for a real tattoo. This is just practice. I can plug here. kind of help keep the needle in my hand flowing a little over. It's not wet wet, but it's at least um, a little better as I work and continually wiping down this key. Okay. Um, gray wash or full black shading. Gray wash or full black shading. Kind of a toss up. I'm doing something like this. This was my example. That's just pencil kind of giving me an idea where I wanted to do some shading. This is partly a reference, but not for the hair, for the position and her, her face shading. And then this is the stencil itself. So it went through several different versions before coming to what we have now. I'm kind of winging it for the rules I want to do for the shading because I'm trying to find a an in-between style, in-between, you know, traditional realism and like old school American classic. And the rules for those shadings can be quite different. Um, so that's where I'm hesitant on what kind of shading I'm going to do for the hair, as the hair is meant to be sort of glowing and bright. Maybe I should do gray wash. I'll have more control over the light versus the full black. Yeah, I'm so still set up for shading speeds on the screen. And I'll just start here at the bottom, kind of following this, but also just seeing what looks right in the moment.
glad you like it. It's slowly coming together. I'm trying to find a style that I enjoy that's slightly different, something people would actually come to me for. So that's why I'm kind of playing it by ear and just doing what kind of feels right at the moment. And it's going to probably change fair amount. everything else.
What's the sheet of fake skin? Where can you get it? Your arm looks great. Oh, thank you for the compliment. Um, the fake skin I buy online. Um, it's the really cheap stuff. It's only like um, two millim not one, but two millimeters thick. It's not anything special at all. Um, I generally get it in smaller sizes, which are about, say, like, cut this in half. So like that section, because that's kind of more what people get as tattoos is that size. So I bought a 30 pack for about $25 or something like that on eBay. Um, so it's less than a buck a, a fake skin. For me, they work just fine. The biggest key to keeping everything clean is continuing to clean down. I use a spray bottle that's a dilution of green soap stuff which is actually safe to use on people again this isn't a sterile environment so this bottle this ink this everything is not okay but if you were a tattooer you know tattooist you would use green soap uh, during your process as well but you know it works really good on the fake skins is what I'm trying to say so for me it's not so much that there's inferior skins it's just that the method that a person might be using to keep it clean is the biggest issue. Um, I've recently bought a few other fake skins that I've not tried out yet, which are about triple the size and thickness as this. Uh, I'm very curious to see if it reacts to ink differently because fake skin doesn't hold ink especially well. As you work with it, slowly some areas that were very dark slowly become less dark. Um, so you kind of have to go over it again, which is not ideal and not something you would want to do in real life. You know, once you put down a line, it really should be there and you shouldn't have to go over it. But with fake skin, that's not always the case. So, um, what else? Is that it? What do I get? Yeah, just online. Uh, Amazon has some, but honestly, eBay is just as good or Alibaba. Oh, sorry, Alibaba, no, AliExpress is the one I meant. They have a lot of stuff that's pretty cheap too. You have to wait for it to come from China, but it's basically the exact, exact same stuff that you'll get from uh, a person who's wholesaling on Amazon or eBay. It just depends on how quickly you need it, honestly.
anybody has questions, just ask. I can see the screen. Try to answer.
Thanks for dropping in. Yeah, it's coming along. So a lot of things will be cleaned up when I go in and do the final lines because as I said, the lines lose their darkness as you work on fake skin. I don't know any way around that, especially with such thin um, tattoo skin. Like I said, I haven't tried my thicker one yet. Maybe that's completely different, but for this, it loses its ink pretty easily. So you do have to go over lines a second time, which Again, it's not ideal, it's not what you would want to do on a real person, but you know, you have to deal with what you got. It's better to make a, a better looking fake skin, I think, than to leave things as they were if you know it needs help, you know? So, anyway. Uh, <laughs> where are we at on time? 42 minutes. Try to end at an hour, so... Um... Maybe I'll work on a little shading on the star. Now, down here, I was doing more of the American classic uh, old school shading technique, which is just full black gradient shading. Um, the hair and the face, I've now been doing um, shading with cups of different levels of gray wash. Um, the star is really interesting and has a lot of. Well, this is not the best example, but this is my example picture. You can see it's got a lot of interesting uh, shading there, different degrees of darkness. And that's what my sketch was, what I was doing. So I think I might do a gray wash for the star, but leave the rest with American Classic. Um, I don't think I have the control yet to do that fully just with black. So. I'm going to go in there with my second degree gray wash and uh, start putting in some, some of these gradients. Yeah, it's gonna be needing cleaned up later.
never did decide what to do about that middle because the rules of where the grays go on American Classic would uh, converge a lot because they share a middle line. Do I could go middle black pulling outwards that way that it's not black on black on the others. Yeah, might as well. Okay, I think this is going to be clean up and in for today. I, let's see, today is Tuesday. Might be on tomorrow. Basically, I think what's left to do is uh, smoothing out shading, especially in the hair. These are a little choppy at the moment. Uh, working out finer details um, with liners. Um, putting in some more full blacks as things, like I said, have fallen out as I work and see if I'm close to an end there. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this is going to be a five part tattoo. It all just depends on how well putting in details finishes it. Looks like it's finished. Um, but the hair was kind of the daunting part. So I think for the most part the gray levels are in. And it's all about smoothing out those levels, getting the real blacks in so that the grays and the whites stand out more. Because when you get too much monotone gray, you lose all the detail. You gotta have those black blacks to make the other stuff stand out. So, and that's true of any art form, not just tattooing, so. Okay, just making sure I fully have this cleaned off because if you step away from the tattoo, even the gray wash that's left behind from the ink after cleaning will settle into your tattoo skin and will be nearly impossible to get out. So do not ever leave a tattoo just sitting there, not wiped off. Just not worth it. 
I also completely wash off every tattoo when I'm done under the sink. It might sound crazy, but it actually is fine. I spray it down with my um, green soap, uh, uh, <laughs> my green soap sprayer, which is diluted. That's the word I was looking for. And, uh, and then just quickly clean off under some warm water. And I don't really lose that much heat at that point because I do it quickly right after I'm fully done. So if you're wanting to use your fake tattoos in your portfolio, I do suggest fully cleaning them off. It looks way better and I get that question a lot. How do I do that? So, okay. And this, I'm gonna go unless somebody has any last minute questions. And I will probably see you tomorrow. If not, then possibly Thursday. But I gotta get it done before the end of the month, so. Alright, lights are off, stepping away. And thanks for hanging out, guys. I'll see you another time.